Hey, what's up, Jalen? Looking good? You know, this whole COVID social distancing is crazy, man. It's got to be weird for you. I mean, you got you have all these friends who are all over the city. You can't, I mean, you've been able to see them, or what What are you doing? Um, No, not really. You know, I've just been stuck in the house, you know, napping. <laughs> so Jalen's been dealt a fairly tough fan. You know, I have both my parents in my life and an older sister. Jalen, you know, lives with his grandmother because both his parents are deceased and his two younger brothers all in one house. I mean, that's a lot. I can't imagine going without my mother and father, um, without my life. And he's done that for the majority of his life and had to be an older sibling to his two younger brothers. My grandma signed me up for Big Brother Big Sister after um, my dad passed away. She felt like that I needed, um, especially like a male role model in my life. The first time I met Jalen, I will admit, it was a little intimidating. His whole family was there, and I felt like I wasn't just meeting, you know, Jalen and his grandmother, I was meeting the entire family. So it was exciting, but uh, a little bit nerve wracking because you just want to make sure you make a good impression on not just him, but the entire family as well. As we slowly, you know, got to know each other, I realized like he's an amazing person. Having a, a, a male mentor definitely helped a lot. I have very bad abandonment issues, so it's like, you know, I feel like when I meet new people, they'll leave my life sooner or later. I didn't have an opportunity to, you know, be able to talk to a, a man in my life and actually, you know, get any help from them. But Matt, you know, having him, especially for these last couple of years, has been amazing. He has opened up so much. His personality has truly blossomed uh, in the past. Uh, four years that we've been together, I've seen him be not just a great uh, grandson, uh, a great brother. He's become a great boyfriend to his girlfriend. I need to learn lessons from him about how to spoil a girlfriend. He's definitely helped me break out of my shell and to, you know, be more outspoken and just try to do my best to, you know, express how I feel. I will say me and Matt are very competitive. Like. Everything we do, we try to have like a competition. Whether it's bowling or mini golf or uh, anything that involves he and I going against each other because let's be honest, he may be my little, but he's bigger than me. So it's a very even competition every time. Sooner or later, we'll go to the batting cages so I can, you know, beat him in that. I, I you know, I, you sometimes think you get into Big Brothers Big Sisters just to, you know, be someone who can go play again putt-putt with or go to the batting cages with but you find out later that you can really have an open honest impactful relationship with someone you sometimes forget they're not family but that's where it is with Jalen and I now is that I feel like he's truly my little brother he's truly my family member I just smile when I think about our future as uh, not just little brother big brother but just honestly friends the one thing I would definitely would love to say to Matt is thank you because you know I haven't had a lot of people in my life especially a man stay as long as you have and help the way you have helped me so I really do appreciate everything you do for me and how you've helped me grow as not just an individual but as a man especially in this type of society um, and teaching me how to stay true to myself and to always speak what's on my mind instead of just holding it back so I really do thank you for that. I'm so, so fortunate to have him in my life, his whole family in my life, uh, and I can't just wait to see what happens in the years to come.